what's up? We're back on the Vicky show. You get boy Romeo. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, definitely Romeo. Now Romeo, um, let's talk about. I just want to get into first of all. Let's talk about who is Romeo. Romeo, like what? <laughs> Romeo. Um, Romeo's like. I mean, he's just your everyday dude. Just loves to have fun. Loves to party, meet new people, hang out with people, on his grind, you know, it was just all about progressing, like, yeah. like, going to the next level. So, yeah. I love the tab on you it's very really nice. Thank you. Yeah, I got it from Urban. Urban? Yeah. Now, Romeo, speaking of, like, partying and stuff like that, mm-hmm. I, 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 mean, I got the buzz before I got here that you were one of the, so, like, one of the elites from <laughs> DC. You put yourself the print. So, why you put yourself the print? I mean, I call myself the prince um, because I feel as though I am very social. I feel as though a lot of people do know me and um, I do know how to have a good time and I always try to have fun. And so I guess like when you think of a prince, especially like someone in a social setting, you want someone who knows you can party with, have fun. I mean, and no shade, but it looks good too. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Now, Romeo, I want to know like, what is the, you know, what's the definition of social like to you? Because a lot of people say they're social, they're social like boy, a social like boy or whatever. What is your definition of a real social like elite? <laughs> well, to me, being a real socialite is someone who first has to be social, knows how to interact with people because there's a lot of people who think just because they have money or because they have this name behind them or they can go to this place and that place that they're a socialite. Well, it's not necessarily all that. Just someone who really knows how to have a good time, who's very social. People like them and right. people like gravitate towards them and people want to get to know them and want to hang out with them. You know, it's someone that they just feel as though it's a good person all the way around. All the way around. That was excellent. <laughs> Now, Romeo, you was, um, now let's talk about your, like, let's talk about, what do you like better, though, like, real quick? Do you like the social life, the ball room? What's the difference? Because, you know, some dudes say, I know in New York, a lot of people just be giving a very, like, I would never date a ball room dude, yeah. but I would date a social life dude. Well, you know, some, what's your whole idea on that? I mean, let's talk about that. To be truthfully honest, like, they kind of can go, like, hand in hand. Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel as though for me though there's like there's two separate worlds you know it's like it's the ballroom world and then it's just like the regular real life world and so I mean I try not to mix the two mm-hmm. but I mean sometimes they do overlap but I mean I take them all you take them all okay so. now um um Mr Romeo I wanted to know like what is the like what's that like what is the ideal guy for you <laughs> ideal guy for me. Trey songs. Trey songs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, nah, um, I mean, me and Trey songs are already married, so. Come on. But it's like, nah. I ain't even married myself. I'm pretty sure. Nah, nah. Trey songs, come on. He's your ass. I do see the pictures of you. <laughs> but so, no, um, the ideal guy for me is just someone who I'm compatible with, who I feel as though motivates me and pushes me to be the next level, and you know, knows what it means to be loved, knows how to take being loved, and how to love in return, and definitely someone who loves themselves. Well, that's very deep. A lot of people just love themselves first. Yeah. Before. Then what was the last, let's talk about relations a little bit. Now, when was the last time you was in something like heavy? Well, um, I was, I was in a two year relationship that ended in April, and I mean. Why? (laughs) Well, it was pretty much, you know, it was, for me personally, I'm young, I'm only 20 years old, so mm-hmm. I I really felt as though I wasn't able to fully get myself to my You're only 20 more than I didn't even know that. Yeah, I'm only 20. So how do you begin a 20 deep leap? Wow. See, that's... Okay. But, <laughs> that's what it means, girl, being a social life. <laughs> but, um, no, it's just, um... I wasn't able to get myself fully to him the way that he wanted me to, and I felt as though that for me it was a lot of things that I still needed to experience and a lot of things that I still needed to go through, and just personally inside that I need to deal with before I can really fully devote myself to a fully committed relationship. And like I said, I'm only 20, so I right. mean, were you in love? Yeah, that was that was my first love. Like okay. that was my first love. Do you so, believe in me? Like, like do you believe like you know the Monica song? Have you ever heard the Monica song "One in a Lifetime"? Yeah. Do you believe it's only one love? Or do you think kind of like do you? How do you believe in that? I don't know, cause like when that song came out, I was still with him, so it's like <laughs> I just every time and we listen to that CD all the time, really? so it's just yeah. 
yeah, I always think of him. But I mean, I feel as though love has no boundaries. You know, mm-hmm. if 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 you fall in love again, you fall in love again. If you feel as though that's the only one person that you're gonna ever truly love, then so be it. But it really depends on the person because it has no boundaries. Do you believe in love at first sight? Um, I believe in lust at first sight. <laughs> I know, I don't necessarily believe in love at first sight. Mm-hmm. I feel as though it's an infatuation that you have where it may feel as though it's love. But to really love someone, you really need to get to know them. It's like you have to go through the experiences, the trials, the tribulations to really understand what it means to love someone else. Exactly. So, yeah. Now I want to do. I want to. You know, I like to jump around on the show a little bit. I want to get into like a little topic of the night. Okay. Now my topic of the night. I always want to talk about this, like on the show. Like, do you feel as though? As I want to talk about escorting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a lot of that in the room scene, mm-hmm. as you know. A lot of drugs. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a lot of. You know, it's a lot that goes on underground. Yeah. So I want to know what's your intake on that. I was talking to a boy yesterday, I'm not going to say who, but we had a discussion about when he dates somebody in the scene, like, I mean, a date, an escort. How he, he felt like he had trust issues, he jealous and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Can you do something like that, Roman? Like, would you, can you date an escort? Or would you have you ever did? I, mean, I have in the past, but I feel as though to each his own, you know, um, there, it's, it's a tough world we live out there and I mean it's a lot of different things that people go through that bring them to the point where they feel as though they have to resort to doing those extra things that um to support themselves and you know I'm not one to judge I feel as though to each its own and that as long as you're being safe and as long as you really see that this is just a way to get you to a next level and not just using it as oh this is going to be my life right. like just use it as a way because i mean we all go through our problems we all have our humps you right. know and especially financially so i mean i, I mean I, I understand it but just as long as you got goals and aspirations goals and it's bigger than being an escort and you know what on that <laughs> note with the mr sexy romeo garcon we're going to come back with part three and we're going to we're gonna talk about his goals and do we want to be legendary in the scenes? And we're gonna talk about we're gonna get we got more so much more to come. We're gonna be back on the Nikki Gotti show.